It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, this is probably one of the first times that we had an opportunity to do this. I want to thank the Chief and the entire Windsor Fire and Rescue for including us and uh, our media partners as we kick off uh, Fire Prevention Week. The theme this year obviously being uh, the kitchen fires, bringing awareness and education as to how we can avoid fires. And uh, over the past several months and over the course of the year, we all hear of the tragedies uh, that have taken place most recently a couple of months ago. Uh, and you, you sit there and you say to yourself, it's so avoidable. So much damage, so much loss can be avoided just by simply being aware. And that's what Fire Prevention Awareness Week is all about. So on my behalf and on behalf of City Council and the entire city team, uh, to Chief Woods of Fire and Rescue, uh, thank you for including us. To our media partners, thank you for getting the word out. Something as simple as being aware and educated can prevent a fire and save a life. Uh, finally, to all the men and women of Woods of Fire and Rescue, we don't get a chance to do this often. Uh, but, but we do have the opportunity to do this. I just want to thank all of you on behalf of everyone in this community for your continued dedication, your sacrifices, and always being the ones running into danger as we're all trying to run away. So thanks for being here. Uh, Chief, thank you for including us. Uh, I just want to also welcome everyone to our Fire Prevention Week and thank, again, the Fire Association, the Fire Department, all of, uh, all of the employees of that good service, and as well, all of you for the great job you did in exiting the building just now. I just listened to uh, Sebastian and the fire chief debate on which department is the best at exiting that building, the fastest, and Sebastian said, we are the fastest in these two buildings. Uh, the chief disagreed and said that when the fire uh, fire department employees have a fire drill, they are the fastest. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank you all for your cooperation in doing this and your participation today. I also want to take uh, a moment to remind our employees to check out your fire exit plan at home. It's one thing to be great at it here at, this, at City Hall where we practice regularly, but I do invite you all to revisit your fire exit plans at your homes with your families where the important people really are and take care of yourselves and be prepared with the smoke detectors and all of uh, the other opportunities available to you. We want to keep fire safety in our minds all year long. So, Take the message to heart and keep it in your minds and practice the drills. Our goal this week and every week throughout the year is to provide the public and yourselves with the important information that is necessary so that you know what to do should a fire start and even more importantly, the things that you can do to prevent a fire from happening which would threaten perhaps your life or the life of one of your loved ones. This year's theme, of course, is prevent kitchen fires. And I want to talk very, very briefly about some of the things that you can do to prevent kitchen fires. First of all, of course, you need a working smoke alarm on every level of your home. Very, very important to have, and especially inside the bedroom. You want to make sure that you have a home fire escape plan, as I mentioned earlier, and practice it. In order to prevent kitchen fires, never leave your cooking unattended. And pay attention at all times when you're cooking. Turn the pot handles inside over the stove so they're not sticking out over the edge. It might be knocked accidentally, knocking the whatever's cooking and whatever's burning off of the stove. Always have the right size lid right next to the stove, right next to the pot or the pan that you're cooking with, so that should it ignite, you can simply turn off the burner and slide that proper fitting lid over the top of it. Never try moving the pot over to the sink or out of your home. That is indeed a way to put yourself in risk spread a fire through your home. Remember always to drink responsibly when you're cooking. Oh, I'm already hit it twice. Yep. I know, I know, I know. Ah! Oh, <laughs> All right, you got me. <laughs> I gotta make sure I splash. Yeah. 
shout out. Oh, she's controlling it. Oh, she's 